Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and today I'm going to talk about Dead Sight, which is an RLJE Films release. I believe it will be available streaming uh, July 2nd. It was in the Blood in the Snow Canadian Film Festival 2018. And I was really interested in this film because it does centralize around a visually impaired character, which obviously that's a subject that's really close to my heart. And it has zombies, which also is really close to my heart. So film opens up in the back of an ambulance. Ben wakes up. He is handcuffed to a gurney. There's no one around. He has a bandage over his eyes. He's just trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Um, breaks free with the IV pole still connected to him, unfortunately. I think it's the IV pole, not... Maybe it's part of the gurney. I don't remember. Anyways. Trying to fend off the undead EMTs that are still lurking around. He's on the side of the road. You know, you have to think this is really difficult for him because... His sight is so low. He can't really determine who's dead, who's alive, has no idea that there's zombies around him trying to fend off anyone that's really coming close to him. There's a group of people that are shooting at the zombies and kind of almost shoot him. We cut then to Mara, who is, I think she's supposed to be eight months pregnant. She's not quite due yet, but she's about to go on her maternity leave. She's trolling around. She encounters a zombie. Well, a zombie in the making. A girl who's pleading for her just to kill her. She's obviously in a lot of pain. She tries to incapacitate her and unfortunately, soon to be zombie girl does jack her ride and leaves her stranded, walking around in the middle of winter. She and Ben do cross paths and Obviously, she's not going to completely trust him because he is wearing a handcuff. He doesn't know what's going on. She doesn't know what's going on, so she has to be cautious, especially as she is pregnant. She wants to keep her unborn baby safe. I'm going to leave it off there as this is spoiler free. What did I like about this movie? It hit me especially hard. The scenes where Ben would take his bandage off and you would see his perspective because before my last eye surgery, that is exactly how I saw. And it made me very emotional because that was an incredibly traumatic time for me. And I know how I felt just day to day. I couldn't imagine being somewhere you don't know, being surrounded by things that are trying to literally rip you apart and you just can't trust any of your senses. You can't see things clearly enough to try to fend them off, but he does do a really good job with that. I was, you know, he's, the way he was reacting to things is completely realistic. As someone that has had that level of sight, it's very realistic. You count things around you. You know, he was using the pole to try to feel out as you would with, you know, the, the stick. You would try to figure out perspectively where things are from you and you know stairs and all that kind of stuff so I really 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 liked that it was you know it hit me it hit me hard I did like the zombies in it some of them were shambly some of them were runners gives you a nice mix of everything they don't ever really completely explain why it's happening but you do see you know the typical disease progression of a zombie which is always cool the gore was very satisfying they didn't overuse the cgi as i was a little worried they would but i was really happy with it um i felt like this is a slow burn which some people that might not be your cup of tea there's a lot of you know there was maybe three locations in total but i feel like they utilized them pretty well what did I dislike about this movie? As I said, it's a slow burn. Unfortunately, the groom did not make it through the whole thing, which is a bummer because I feel like the end, you know, made it pretty good. I feel like the end, to me, as a zombie snob, was a bit predictable, but I wasn't let down by it. You know, seeing all these 
progressions of the characters, you kind of know where they're going to go, which is awesome. Um, the one critique with Ben, I feel like they were attributing his eyesight to something in particular that happened, and I don't know if maybe it just went past me, I got distracted, I didn't completely get what was going on, but I don't know how legitimate it would be in real life medically. You'll have to watch the movie to really understand what I mean by that, but, you know, my vision loss was from a medical condition. His vision loss was from something else. Leaving it off there. I give this movie, like, a solid 3.5 out of 5. I thought it was a good time. I wish it was a little faster, but if you're into slow burns, this is your jam. I thought with the budget they had, they did really well, you know with the effects. I felt like the acting was pretty good. You know, I would watch it again. I do recommend it. So, have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts? Leave me a comment down below. What's your favorite zombie movie? Do you like Canadian zombie movies? Because that's what this was, and yay Canada. Um, yeah. Uh, if you did like the video, please give it a like. If you like Canadian zombies, you could also like the video. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. You can also hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator, and my solo and reviews with the groom are available in podcast form via iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators, and I will see you guys later. Bye, guys. Oh,